team coverage of the drawdown delays impact on our community. We begin with 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins. She is live at MCAS Miramar. Hannah. And the troops I talked to seem to support it. It's the families that are having a hard time. And I immediately thought of one mom who's in our sales department. <laughs> Excuse me. Being a mom to a soldier is hard on the heart. Jalois Ivory has three and all have deployed. There wasn't a day she didn't worry while her oldest son, Michael, was in Afghanistan. You know, he was in the tanks. Um, they would get hit. He risked his life to save one soldier. He actually had to keep that soldier's heart beating until he could get him to the hospital. He did, extending his life by three hours, but it wasn't enough. He became one of more than 2,200 American patriots who paid that heartbreaking price. No, it wasn't easy. Um, and like I said, you know, it took him a while to process it. I, th I know that he still grieves every day for it. It was on Avery's mind when the commander in chief the announced FBI plans to stay put. Part of me was angry. <laughs> because they should be able to handle it over there themselves. Many combat troops I talked to are tired. They've endured a constant churn of deployments, making the area more stable and less violent. But they say their mission isn't complete. Michael would probably go back into battle if he could. He was medically discharged after 11 years. That he would do anything for his fellow brothers. Now, he has his real brother to think about. Chris is headed off to Afghanistan in the coming year. And Chris is a father of three with another child on the way. We're certainly grateful for their service. We're live at MCAS Miramar, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.